guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a great week. So in this tutorial, I started off with my face makeup and I'm taking some liquid latex, and by the way, liquid latex smells disgusting. So now I'm taking a white eyeliner and I'm drawing where I want the cuts to be on my face. And then I'm going over the white lines with liquid latex and I'm working in small sections just so the liquid latex doesn't dry quickly. And over that liquid latex, I lay down thin strips of tissue paper. After you lay down the tissue paper, then you want to cover it with liquid latex, only just one layer and wait for it to dry. And I'm doing this all around the face. I'm making sure to work in sections. I'm just doing probably like half the line, just so the liquid latex isn't dry and the tissue paper sticks down as much as possible. You don't need to add tissue paper for this look. Liquid latex on its own is good as well. You can peel it up just as easy. So now I'm covering my liquid latex and tissue with foundation and make sure you get a foundation that suits your skin tone and blend it in as much as possible so it looks realistic. After blending I take the outer um, latex and tissue paper and I peel it downwards and I'm peeling it from the um, inner part, so not the outer part, but the inner part. And I'm just peeling it downwards to make it look like my skin's coming off. And this kind of hurt my like baby hairs underneath, it was pulling them, but I was strong. <laughs> and now the inner layer of latex and toilet tissue, I'm pulling it um, up from the inner layer as well. So you can kind of see it's making an open wound effect. So now I'm taking some black eyeshadow, I get a really dark black eyeshadow and I'm filling in that area um, all on the inside and this is going to deepen up the blood and make it look more realistic. So now I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette, I love this palette, it's got all the colours you need and I'm taking a red and I'm putting this all over the black to mimic the appearance of blood. And then I also cut some areas and made it look a bit wider and thicker so the cup could be like really big and gory. And now I'm taking some Ben and I Scare Blood and this is awesome for making things look real and gory and gross. And I'm filling that all in with Scare Blood. Now I'm just putting some blood all around the outside and then I take big hunks and I put it all over. And this makes it look like blood clots and makes it look a bit thicker and gruesome. And I'm just making sure to spread some blood all around the outside of the skin flaps as well. So now I'm taking some fake blood and you want to take some fake blood because this just adds a bit more realness. It's darker so it adds more depth and it looks like real blood. And this look looks more realistic when it is wet, like when the blood's not dry. So now I'm taking that BH Cosmetics palette again and I'm taking a blue and a purple shade and I'm going to put this all around the cut to make it look like bruising as if it's been there for quite a while and it's just starting to bruise. So now I'm taking some thick stretchy black string and I'm going to put that all around my face as if I've stitched it up. So I work in small sections putting about four um, rows of little dots of liquid latex. I hold the string down for maybe like 10 seconds, hold it down really firmly. I just spread it down, hold it in one corner, put it down to the other corner, hold it down, put it up to the other dot of liquid latex and keep going around. You can see what I'm doing. It's fairly simple and it stayed on really well. I just uh, made sure to add lots of liquid latex and I left a piece down at the bottom because I will be hanging a needle there at the end. So yeah, when I hold it down for a long time, it's not really sticks and yeah. And I didn't want it to look round like the stitching, so I decided to add some liquid latex and press, like pinch it together so it created more of like a sharp edge corner and made it look a bit more like stitching. Now you want to take your eyeliner and I'm putting dots all around um, those corners and this makes it look like stitches as if it's been punctured into the skin and it adds a bit more detail. 
and to make it look even more gruesome as if it's been really punctured and blood's coming out I'm putting some red scab blood on each side of the dot. So I added a big thick needle at the end to make it look like I freshly just stitched up my face and it adds a bit of detail. So that's the end of the look guys. If you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on social media. I'd love to see your looks. Subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I'm on nearly 15,000 subscribers. So let's get there and I'll see you guys in my next week's video.